Jolly you'll take me kill it. Clean your ear this way. Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, it's getting almost that time of year. It's the week after Thanksgiving and everybody's had turkey stuffing, turkey this, turkey that. And they're all turkeyed out by now. So, without further ado, I'm going to, um, let's see, what, I had an idea in my mind and it went straight out the window. Um, Christmas. Icicles. I'm going to go ahead and do another icicle for you. Why not? And this one, matter of fact, I'm going to use what's up there to do this with. There is just enough twirl on the top of this thing that I'm going to make a little angel ornament. Icicle. Okay? I cheated. It's already there. But I will show you the demo on how I make these icicles after this. Right? Right. Not that. But, oh, here we go. This, no, not that one. When you want the right rod, it's never around. Here you go. This will do it. This is about a nine or nine and a No, it's about a nine. What I'm going to do, I usually start adding the arms first to the main part of the body. And as you can see, I lucked out and the twirl to this angel, the tunic to the angel was already at the top of the twirl of the icicle. So I'm just going to use it as a base for this icicle. Okay. Arms first. I start with the right, then go to the left. And then, and then, and then, and then, just below where the arms were Starting on the back, I start with the left wing, and I do the fold and pull, or the pull and fold, whichever you want to call it. Pull it out and fold it over until I feel like I've got what I want, and heat up that whole thing, and bring it to a point, and you got one wing. I know I make it look easy. I've done it a few hundred times, or a few thousand, one of the three. Then again, you try to make the same size on the other side. Bring it out, pull it up, make it to a point. And there you go, there's two wings to this angel. Now, the arms to the angel, I mean the head to the angel, I'm going to use a little bit smaller rod so it comes out a little bit easier. And I'm going to kick this down a notch. As I can. Finite detail here. Right between the shoulder blades. Add the head. And with the head again, I usually go out with this size. I'll probably go out about a quarter of an inch, a little bit longer than that, three eighths of an inch maybe. And then do the DQ swirl. And then round it down into a nice round ball. And gravity works. You just have to keep spinning. Okay. With me so far? I like it. What do you think of my new high-def camera? I got it for a Black Friday special. Thanks to my dear sweet sister and her husband, Terry. They uh, should go out and splurge. So I did. And you're now seeing the higher deaf results. I also just did a video and I'll put a link to it. Uh, in the past the camera that I've had just never did, UV never got, did justice. I mean uh, I could show you and it would show a little bit of the like the um, Illuminati and the uh, other colors but nothing like this before and this new camera picks up in better detail in dark the uh, okay and there you go and I'm also gonna make this about this long matter of fact I'm gonna just take a pair of tweezers and 
pull that off. There we go. And you have one angel icicle. And again, these videos are going to be short, sweet, precise, to the point. Thanks for watching. And as always, enjoy your day in Carpe Vitro.